Hey there, welcome to Start Today. We're more than halfway through 2023, and our community of over a half million members has a lot to be proud of. They've tackled every monthly challenge as they work towards a healthier lifestyle. Never too late to join. Just scan the QR code below to subscribe to our newsletter and get the jump start we all need to improve our health. Well, in this episode, today contributor Ali Love is going to share tips to help us stay motivated all week long. Plus, one of our community members opens up about her weight loss journey, and we're going to get to see her transformation firsthand. Then later, it wouldn't be a Start Today episode with a little fun workout. So let's get to it. This is Start Today. First up, check out how we kicked off this month's challenge. Lorraine, Al, thanks for coming in. And, of course, leading the charge is today fitness contributor Stephanie Mansoor. She's kicking off an August plan combining walking with an upper and lower body workout. So good morning to everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so I know you want us to keep up with the walking, keep up with the strength training, but you're, you're kind of focusing on non-scale victories this month also. What, what would that include? You know, Dylan, we oftentimes put too much weight, pun intended, on the number <laughs> on the scale. So this month, in addition to walking and strength training, we are going to focus on non-scale victories. Things like feeling that your clothes are fitting looser, feeling like you have more energy, you've, your mobility is enhanced, you feel like you can get down and up off the ground, off the couch a little bit easier. Maybe you're feeling more rested after you wake up. So things like that that help us measure our progress. Progress that okay. are not just about weight loss or the number on the scale. Okay, so let's start with Lorraine here. You're a teacher, you're a mom, you're a travel consultant. I'm sure you have some non-scale victories, but I know you're also down 30 pounds since Christmas. Oh, wait, oh Congratulations to thank you. you. Thank you, thank you. What's your question for Steph? Um, my question is, in order to increase my biceps, mm -hmm. I would also wonder if there's another thing I can do to also tone my entire arm at the same time. Yeah, mm. and you know, that's a great question, Lorraine. And I will mention, Lorraine <laughs> loves walking outside mm. because she likes to feel connected with nature. <laughs> and you did say your clothes are fitting looser, so yes. that's a huge win. And you've noticed your face is Yes, I love too. that I don't have to hold my uh, <laughs> cell phone away from the picture anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. So what we're gonna do, instead of just a basic boring bicep curl, which I personally do love, but we we are going to do another exercise called serve the platter. So we're going to hug the elbows in like this, shoulders back, good, abs in. We're going to serve the platter forward, working the biceps and the shoulders, and then hug the elbows oh. back in. Nice. So if you've been hosting any summer barbecues or parties, you know how to serve that platter yeah. full of burgers. So we're going to do like the it. same thing with our workout. And we do 10 of these, and then we move on to the next exercise. Okay, let me Al, let me bring in Al Walker here, who's been a walker his whole life. <laughs> <laughs> Former accountant, retired yes. accountant, as I understand it. Yes. Splitting your time between Jersey and Delaware. Correct. How many steps would you say you've, you've logged so far? Well, I've been tracking it for 19 years, and uh, in 19 years, I've done 160 million steps. Oh, my goodness. Wow. wow. <laughs> 160 That's million? My wife sent me to the grocery store, and I just haven't come back yet. <laughs> <laughs> and you also have something in common with Al Roker, besides just the name. Uh, 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 both for named uh, Al Albert, both born in August of 1954. And I'm uh, both born in New York City, I believe. Yes. And I am actually a week older than the young man. Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> happy almost so birthday. You have a birthday coming up, so happy it's birthday. For, uh, 12 days. Yeah. What would wow. you like to ask Steph? Um, as I've gotten a little bit older, I've, I've noticed more pain in my, my knee tendons in particular. And I was wondering if there's a uh, exercise I can do to, to, to deal with that. Yes, absolutely. And you know, that's a common issue that we have with many of our Start Today members is what can I do that's not a squat or a stationary lunge that puts so much pressure on the knee joint? So we're going to set our weights down. And what we're going to do instead of that lunge is a standing leg lift. So go ahead and point your leg forward. Great. Squeeze the quad. So I really want you to engage oh, yeah. that muscle above your knee. Perfect. And then we're going to lift up a few inches or as high as your hip, wherever you're at with your fitness level and then lower down. So doing this 10 times on this leg and then switching to do 10 on the other, repeating for three rounds, it may seem like a small exercise, guys, but really what we're doing here is we're reinforcing the integrity of that knee joint. So strengthening the tendons, the ligaments, and the muscles that help to support the kneecap. Perfect, and you wanna make sure the leg stays straight. Good, I feel that right there. You okay. feel that engaged? Yep. Yes, yes, I do. That's great. Perfect, nice That's job. Good Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Steph. You're exercises. welcome. Alan Lorraine, Lorraine and Al. Thank you. Thank you. Up next, Allie Love's got some simple tips to help us kickstart our day. Plus, we're going to meet a Start Today member embarking on her own health journey, and she's going to share some great advice on how we can do it, too. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Start Today. Let's face it, we've all been guilty of hitting that snooze button in the morning. 
maybe more times than we'd like to admit. It can be hard waking up feeling motivated, but today contributor Allie Love's got just the thing we need. She's teaching us how to love our mornings with simple ways to decompress and stay energized all week long. So you branded the days of the week so that you yes. can have something to focus on. So Hoda, okay. we make 35,000 decisions a day. That's a quarter of a million decisions a week. Oh, geez. Why not just make it easier so okay. we have something that's stable each day? Like on Mondays, we call it Motivational Mondays. Yes. Every Monday, you just write a little post-it note. You put it on a wall in your house. Your family can do this. It can be the one big hairy thing you need to do that week or the words you need to hear or something that's going to anchor you. And so something new each day. I know you do this and you post yes. it and it's inspiring for other people you could post it to if you want yes i okay. do it on social but i put it on my i put it in my wall on my wall in my house so i can see it every day what's then happening we, on tuesdays girl tuesdays are my favorite it's take out tuesdays my take husband out. and i what we do is we'll take one theme right burgers and for the month every tuesday we'll try a different burger place and at the end of the month we decide which one was the best so for the rest of the year when we want burgers guess what what less decisions you just go to the favorite burger place call it a day okay call so it a day. Do, what do you have your favorite or you can't tell us I you can't, don't I know can't, I can't what is this is this is this shake shack this is also breakfast what's happening all right mm. Not good. Mm. i love a burger okay so Me that's, too. Me that's too. tuesdays now we're off to work in wednesdays work in wednesday we're gonna work it mm -hmm. here's the deal on wednesdays your workout is non-negotiable your work in is non-negotiable at the top of the hour maybe you take some squats some parallel mm -hmm. plies at your job we take some lateral flexions. Mm -hmm. You have to do something at the top of the hour on Wednesday. Now, you talk about that's work in. I know you do a lot of inner work, too. Yeah. So it's not just making sure you're healthy and you're eating right. It's like mind, body, spirit for you, right? Exactly. So these days are your reminders. Mm -hmm. It's just like have a little fun, take out Tuesday, work in Wednesday. Take okay. care of yourself. Let's get thirsty on Thursdays. Thirsty what? Thursdays, darling. I love it. We love Thursdays a new Friday. We love to have a good time. <laughs> okay. I often encourage folks. Alternate your cocktails with your mocktails. Okay. So we have a gin and tonic. I love a good gin and tonic. G&T here. Mm -hmm. This is a blueberry elderflower mocktail. Okay. So when you're out social, we get a little social anxiety. I do sometimes. Yeah. So you have your co first cocktail. Then you'll have your, the next drink will be a mocktail. Mocktail. It gets you ready for that Friday because you still have to work on Friday even if it's working from home. Okay. So you do a mocktail. Oh, look at you handing me the G&T. Okay. I mean, it is Thursday. Oh, my God. It really is. Wow. Okay. I like that. Do you... Oh, do you... Uh, limit your drinks on the weekends no <laughs> okay all right i just want to know like, if you were how normal. do i answer that okay. i do not limit my drinks no. i do not okay what happens friday, on friday friend group friday this is friend one group. of my favorite days it's the day that you're with your friend groups we oh. alternate going to each other's homes and we make our favorite dishes my favorite dish is a curry chicken it's i'm a one pot wonder honey i cannot cook multiple things at multiple times put this, it all in one pot wait you do a curry chicken i do a curry chicken. okay i and love this is my favorite food a way to my heart is right here Oh my God, that's so yummy. But I love that you plan every Friday a different friend so you know that that's already mapped out. And you're rotating, you know what I mean? It's not all on you. This is a big one, one of your favorites, this tell is us. One, this is beautiful, Snail Mill Saturday. Mm -hmm. I know most folks get emails all the time. You get text messages from your right. loved ones. You right. might get a WhatsApp, Right. but when's the last time you send a postcard? Mm -hmm. That postcard that's gonna take forever and right. you just get it on a random right, day right, from right. someone that you enjoy. So I wrote Savannah, you, and Al a, mm -hmm. post -it note, a postcard. Mm -hmm. It's a Snail Mail Saturday, just to say how much I appreciate Thank all you of you. Oh, my God. By the way, what a great thing to receive. You're right in the mail. Yes. Take us to Sundays, girl. And Sunday, we're going to either end the week or start the week with fun, however you look at mm -hmm. it. Sunday, Sundays. Let's put it on the nose here. You can do this with your family, do it with yourself. Take us some ice cream, mm. decorate it, and mm. just have a good time. You can have this for breakfast like we're doing right now, or you can have it for a snack or for dessert. By the way, if you are on Peloton, look up Sundays with Love. Mm -hmm. Sundays with Love is an inspirational, incredible class with Allie. I do them and redo them. They don't need to be current, they need to be, yeah. but they need to be done. They're beautiful and wonderful, yeah. and so are you. Now, how about a little dose of inspiration to go with it? Coming up, one of our community members shares how she's changing her life one step at a time. And later, we're getting our sweat on with workouts for your upper and lower body. We'll be right back. We're back with more Start Today. Now, we started this group a few years ago and can't believe how much our community's grown. We've spotlighted so many inspiring folks in their health journeys, and we can't wait to introduce you to Melissa Palouche. At her heaviest, Melissa weighed 275 pounds. That is, until a year ago, she took control of her life 
and changed her health. Melissa recently visited the third hour to share her amazing transformation and advice to help others. Here's a look at her story. I'm Melissa Palooch, a happily married mother of three. For most of my adulthood, I struggled with my weight. I avoided seeing a doctor for years because I didn't want to see the number on the scale. Finally, in June 2022, I got my blood work done and the results were not good. I was diagnosed with diabetes, high blood pressure, severe sleep apnea, and high cholesterol. At 43 years old, I was on more medication than my 83-year-old father. I woke up on July 1st last year and knew I had to make a change. So I switched up my diet and started counting calories. Reading posts on the Start Today Facebook page inspired me to exercise, and I thought, if others can do it, I can too. I started walking with my 18-year-old son, and in eight weeks, I was able to walk a mile without getting winded. Now, one year later, I'm happy to announce I've lost 100 pounds, and I feel incredible. All right, so here's a photo of Melissa on July 1st of last year, and here is Melissa now. Come on out. All right, Melissa. Yay, Melissa. Good morning. Congratulations. Oh, you, you look incredible. Thank How you. are you? Hi, Hi. Welcome, you. welcome. Thank you. Hugs from afar. Oh, yeah, absolutely. There you go. All right. Congratulations. You. Congratulations. Yeah, I mean, you know. it's one thing to set a goal for yourself, yeah. but it's another to all of a sudden notice, hey, I think I'm going to reach this goal. Yes. How are you feeling? I feel amazing. I still I sometimes can't even believe that I did it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I can't believe I did this, but I'm like with... I had the motivation, I had the perseverance, I was doing it, and I did it. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Well, we heard you. Look at this picture. Isn't wow. this great? When you see that, what do you think? Oh, I can't even believe it. <laughs> I'm like, I still look to this day. Sometimes I still like look, and I'm like, that's me. It's like, you. I can't even believe I did that. Like, you. I learned something from you, because oh, I've never heard of an NSV. It means non-scale yes. victories. You celebrate those. Can you share some examples of what, of what that really means? Well, I can cross my legs again. Wow. <laughs> That's one. Um, I can paint my toes again, mm -hmm. which seems so silly. Mm -hmm. But my favorite one is that I'm actually exploring colors. As you can see in the picture, I'm wearing colors. Right. Or before, I was always oh, wearing like shades of gray, oh, wow. black, navy blue. Mm -hmm. How special and now is I'm that? Like, nope. Now my, my closet is colorful now. <laughs> well, and I love this green top you have. Yeah, yeah. another new one. <laughs> On this, on this journey, Melissa, I got to think, everybody who's been on this kind of journey, you, there's a certain point where you, you hit that plateau. Yes. And it can be very frustrating. No matter what you do, you just can't seem to break through. What, what's your advice? How, did you, how do you break those, 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 those moments? Uh, well, I hit two of them so far. And I did get discouraged at first, mm -hmm. but then I told myself, I'm like, you know what? You didn't come this far to go backwards again. So the first time I did it, I started drinking some more water. Mm -hmm. I figured, let me try that. That worked. It worked? It worked. As soon as I mm. added some more water to it, I started actually like picking up again just like that. Oh, I was wow. amazed. So that was really good. So I was excited. But in the past, that used to, that would deter me. Like as soon as mm -hmm. I hit a plateau, I'd be like, oh, well, oh, well. Yeah, not working. Yeah. it's not working anymore. I guess I'm supposed to be this way forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I would stop. Yeah. And I'm like, nope, not anymore. I'm going. like, now I'm like, I have to keep going. I have, if I want to be here, I have to. Yeah. So I'm like, I have no choice. We mentioned the colors in your wardrobe, which I think could be indicative of your mental health through oh, this whole yes. journey. How would you say you're feeling? Feeling today compared to a year ago so much happier hmm. I was actually saying that my husband told me the other day I have more pep hmm. and oh, I did man. before and I was like yep I actually wake up in the morning and I'm happy to get up in the morning I'm yeah. not laying in bed because I don't want to get out of bed mm -hmm. which is huge because I would lay there some days like nope don't even want to get up mm -hmm. I'm like yeah. I just want to stay here now I'm like I want to do things I look forward to getting up and I look forward to walking mm -hmm. and like getting outside and doing things so it's great it's huge you know Al talked about this start today community so long ago right and it's been so rewarding to step back and watch all of you it seems like you guys have really bonded in cities all over the country I've made a ton of friends in that mm -hmm. group I've never met them but we've become social media friends uh -huh. mm -hmm. and I'm like even today they were all messaging me like good luck uh -huh. we're so happy for you you inspire us and I'm like I feel like they're I honestly most of them feel like they're family to me mm -hmm. now That's like amazing. we've gotten very close so I'm like hopefully one day I can meet them but yeah. you know <laughs> so maybe there's somebody sitting at home right now Melissa who who's you know, had that problem of trying to get up and get out and get take those first steps because mm -hmm. you were there yeah what what would you say to that person watching right now just get up and do it. I was walking mm. a half a mile for like two months, but you know mm. what? It was a half a mile more than what I was doing. Mm -hmm. That's all you can do. Do it. it doesn't matter. Any little bit of movement is important. So as long as you get up and move, yeah. it's better than nothing at all. And it's more than what you were doing the day before that and the day before that is mm -hmm. the way I looked at it. 
and eventually it's like you're going to get to whatever your goals are. It may take a while, but you'll get there. Yeah. How's it been for your family watching this for you? Good, very good. They're very mm -hmm. excited. Very, very excited. They're constantly telling me, like, you're a whole new person. We can't believe it. We're so happy for it's you. Incredible. Like, just the health changes alone have been huge. Because yeah. so. you can't be there for your family unless you're there for That's yourself. exactly right. what I told myself. I'm like, I have three kids. Like, if mm -hmm. I want to see them get married and maybe have kids one day, I'm like, I have to do something yeah, because it's not getting you, any better. You are such an inspiration. And thank so many you. people sitting at home now can look at you and it's like, okay, I can walk a half a mile today. Yes, yep. so that's that all you need to do just yep. to get started. And it's not even thank, that. Just yes, absolutely. Yes, yeah. yes. Thank you so much thank for sharing you. your story. And if you want to learn more about Melissa's story, just head to today.com. And of course, you can be Become a member of our Start Today community as well. Just scan that QR code to sign up for our newsletter. It's nice to meet you. It was nice to <laughs> meet you. There's so many of you. Too. I know we cheer for you guys on the screen. We now do. It's like, oh. that. <laughs> thank, thank you. Right. Thank you. This was so fun. Oh, it was thank great you. having you, Melissa. Thank you. We're so proud of Melissa. And just ahead, two Start Today workouts. First, we're going to punch things up a notch with some boxing exercises. Then, we'll try a lower body workout that's sure to get our hearts pumping. We'll be right back. We're back and it's time to get moving. Rumble boxing trainer Jill Goodtree starts us off with an upper body workout. Jill, good morning hey, Jill. to you. Good morning, Jill. <laughs> so let's just start with boxing. Like what kind of workout does that provide and who can do it? Um, honestly, anybody can do boxing. It's a great full body workout. Both cardio and strength are involved. So my advice is if you can move, you can box. You All can right. move, you can box. So how do you get started? What's the, the so, pace? All right. With whatever your non-dominant hand is. That's Are we bare knuckle good. boxing here? Yeah. Yeah. Is this yeah. guy ready? Okay, yeah. settle down, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> settle. Whatever your non-dominant hand is. Uh -huh. That's, that's how we do it the British way. Exactly. So if you're a right-handed person, your right foot is going to be in the back. Okay. Yep. okay. So you sign your rent checks with your right hand, yeah. right foot in the back. Mm -hmm. um, well, you want to turn that foot out 45 degrees. Mm -hmm. It's kind of uh, always on an angle because you'll rotate your hips. Mm -hmm. And then your front foot always points directly forward. Okay. Yeah, got it. Looks like absolutely mm. perfect. Okay. From here, your hands are going to be right up by your cheekbones, mm -hmm. elbows in tight. So notice how my elbows aren't out here, kind of mm -hmm. like a pigeon trying to take flight. Yes. You want to be down tight. That way you protect your ribs and of course, the money your face. face. The right. money maker, right? I've right. never been in a fight. Good. Hopefully I never. Good. I hope, I hope you never are. Little things <laughs> we never would have imagined. Notice, like I've never like, <laughs> please don't hit me if I see. Okay. All right, so let's go walk through the six punches. Okay. You're gonna extend your non-dominant hand all the way, turn your knuckles over, this is your jab. So okay. it's a distance punch. You can think of it as keeping your opponent away from you or when we're boxing out a bag on rumble, keeping your distance from your back. Now pull that hand all the way back. I want you to actually switch your hands, non-dominant hand. So oh, oh okay, up. right, I'm yeah. sorry. Okay, right, right. Here's right. never yeah. been in a fight either. I, I, I have been in a face. fight, but I lost. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you should have seen your wife afterwards. <laughs> She's just standing over you. Oh. <laughs> That's, right, too, close. That's too close to the jab. truth, okay. man. Yep. Jab. Do it faster. Jab. One more time. Jab. Good. One more fast. Jab. Good. Now let's move to our cross. That's your number two. Extend your dominant hand all the way. Your cross is like your strong arm punch, right? It's mm -hmm. long and right. it's powerful because it's your strong side. Yes. Right. Put all the way back. Let's do it together. Cross. Pew. Good. Cross. Pew. Two more cross. Pew. One more cross. Nice. Are you ready to move on? That's good. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Done. Okay. Great. Big all bend the in the elbow. Oh. Yep. Palm faces you. Oh. I want you to rotate your front leg all the way around. How am I doing? Uh, there we uh, go. Okay, yep. So go. you want to be Great. looking at the inside of your hand, okay. and then right. pull back to your base. Okay. Ready? Do it together. Front hook. Two more times. Front hook. One more time. Front hook. Now notice how my elbow is in line with my hand. Mm -hmm. That's really key here. If you're dropping your elbow, you're punching at an angle. It's not a hook. It's kind okay. of a cross between the hook and the upper. Okay. okay. Shall we move on to our back hook? Okay. Yeah. Let's okay. do it. Back hook, that's your number four. That's really four. powerful punch here. I want you to rotate your back leg all the way around. You can pop up onto your toe and then pull it all the back. way back. There's a lot in the core here, right? Oh, you're yeah, rotating course, a lot. Of course. Yeah, this is why it's that's so good for you. That's the powerhouse of boxing, is your okay. core. Is your right. core. Okay. One more time. Back I want to blow like you did. It makes it sound like I'm doing something. <laughs> Yeah, okay. exactly. When you breathe, you yeah. engage your core. It makes ah. your punches even more powerful. Okay. So how often should we be running through the... Is, are there sets of these? Yep. So there's six punches in boxing. Your okay. jab, that's your number one. Uh -huh. Your cross, two. that's your number two. Your front hook, that's your number three. Your back hook, that's your number four. Can we do okay. it all together? Number five. Yeah, let's do it all together. Okay, all together. Okay. Hands are up. One, one two, two, three, four... four. Five. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We forgot it, but we didn't do the five. Five, six. Okay. All right. So uppercuts. Imagine you're going right underneath someone's chin. Yep, okay. palm faces you. Mm -hmm. Good. And then switch it. Number six. That's your back uppercut. So now we do it all together. Let's do all it all right. together. All right, Ready? Do it. Hands up. Yep. Okay, here we go. One, 
two, three, four, Ew. five, six. Oh, oh sorry. All right. Was it six? That was good. Did you just yeah. hit each other? What happened? That was good. That was good. <laughs> wow. So I guess we can do this. You're right. You don't need a lot of material. No, you don't you need a lot need of bells and whistles. Right. Just yourself. Well, I can feel the heart rate already. You know, it's I know, like the jacket came off the Titanic. Well, off. yeah, exactly. I, I, I can, that was the right yeah. thing to do. We're walking <laughs> about. Well, this was Bill, terrific. Thank you. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much for having me. Now let's move to the lower body. Here to show us how it's done, Lululemon studio trainer, Jaron Lyles. Yeah. All right. So here's the thing. We're going to do three different sets with, of, of exercises, right? Mm -hmm. Right. All right. So let's start with the first one. And then talk about how I think you combine it, you get more benefits, yes. right? So the muscles work in three different ways. Mm -hmm. You can move tempo, which is slow and controlled. You can move metabolically, which means fast and more dynamic, or you can do isometrically, which means you're holding a static position, aka TMI, right? So TMI, oh. right, in this case is a good thing. So we're gonna, gonna right, so we're gonna take exercises that we know and love and we're gonna do them in the TMI way to make mm -hmm. a fun and varied Let's workout. Okay, we're squat. gonna begin first with squats. Okay. okay. Super simple. The Feet shoulder squat. width apart. Uh -huh. I want two slow squats as if you were your grandmother sitting and getting off the couch. So one, come up, mm -hmm. two, come up. And now I want four squats a little faster. Ready? So down and up, down Burn and up. Cookie. There you go. Burn it off the cookies. Yeah. Good. Give me one more. And then you're going to hold at the bottom of the squat for like six seconds. Okay. Right? So he's imagining his granddaughter's crawling up to Aww. him and he's holding here, right? So six seconds and then you come up and that's it. So that's one round. Let's okay. say you have a timer, you set it for a minute and a half and you see how many times you can do those three mm. movements within, within a minute. minute. Correct. Okay. okay. So that's, that's move cool. number one. Do you get to rest in between or what? Are... In between? No. Oh. You want to oh. go the whole time. Okay. And so the second movement that we're going to do is a reverse lunge, right? Okay. So we're going to move only the right leg. You're going to step the right, the right leg back two times. So one, come up and two come up good so now you're going to keep the leg back and you're going to pulse down and up Ooh. four times how are you doing one, with your knee two what? very carefully well, I'm, just, I'm not going all the way four down. All right. right and then you hold at the bottom okay. for the six seconds play the jeopardy theme song or sing Yay. one mississippi two mississippi three mississippi four mississippi here, come back here. up Ooh. and then if you want to really burn out that leg you do one leg for a minute and a half and you do the other leg for a minute and a half mm. and what kind of and effect that. will i see if I, let's say i do that every day for a month what will i start to notice oh. um Good you question. will start to notice that you'll be more conditioned you'll probably not get as tired when you're doing your day-to-day -day okay. activities you know depending on how much you do you might get slimmer if that's your goal but overall yeah. you'll just be healthier and be able to live and move better you sounded yeah. like you were challenging it. so what's going to happen <laughs> no, no, about I'm like, so what does this I really do this really? how long <laughs> how long does it take yeah, <laughs> just, because i'm going on vacation in two in weeks yeah. is this going to help me i'm actually uh, leaving tomorrow so i'm, I'm leaving to tonight to morocco oh very nice i am all right that's awesome that is really good do we have one more yeah one more okay so we're going to do a lateral lunge so starting with your feet together you're gonna mm -hmm. step out tap one side and then the other side right and then you're gonna do a lateral shuffle so think about the length of a yoga mat you'll just shuffle for Look one the hey let's floor. our control and room's two, doing it oh nice very nice three, See if you can do it down there with all that and equipment four, and then hilarious. we'll go back to that six second squat hold uh -huh. okay. again singing song thinking about the cookies you're gonna eat later right <laughs> hold here for six seconds Come back up and then start the sequence wow. again. I feel good even now. Yeah. Yeah. Right. How's He's the deodorant doing? I know. So far, so good. <laughs> I feel like if we were to do that every day, yeah. it takes what, 10, 20 minutes? Yeah, if you can book at least 10 to 20 minutes a day. Like I teach on Lululemon Studio, mm -hmm. which is an amazing app right now, it's free right. to sign up for. So I do that with my members. Right. You can also do like cardio, walking is really so good. good. But, Jaren, should you do that the, the same routine every day or should you take a break in between? Um, right. It all depends it, it on your it goals. What you can yeah, it depends on what your goals Got are. It. Some okay. people need to do it every day. Others have different goals and need to become more mobile, more flexible. So you have to switch out your, your workout routine. routine. Well, that's great. Thank, Thank you for three coming. Moves. Thank you. Your Easy first enough. live debut. Yay. Today. Welcome. And that's all for this episode of Start Today. Don't forget, scan the QR code to sign up for a daily dose of motivation in our Start Today newsletter. And connect with other folks on a mission to get healthy. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Today All Day. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.